Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to change a starter on an SV650. Man, oh man, finally we get a break in the weather here in Houston. I mean, it, these past couple weeks have been cold and miserable, and, and finally the temperatures are, you know, mid to upper 60s. It gives me plenty of time and comfortable temperatures to work on this bike so today I'm gonna to go ahead and show y'all how I'm gonna change out this starter now the reason why I'm changing out this starter is because it actually hangs up or at least that last time I started the bike it hung up with the flywheel on the engine and that's not good uh, reason why that happened is because it was on, it was in a flood that's what happens when things like that gets it, it'll get stuck that's whenever you get flood vehicles same thing happens with cars motorcycles you name it so with this um, this starter here on this particular bike it's it's mounted right behind the oil cooler and um, and it don't get refurbished ones don't do that stuff do what I did spend about 40 or 50 bucks and buy a brand new starter because that is an important component so let me show you what this thing looks like. Okay, here we go. Let me show you. Spanking new. Rated SN for spanking new. Love it. Very clean. Never used. It's not refurbished. Yeah. So, this is what's going to go on the bike. These are easy to change out. I mean, it's... I can have this entire thing done in like maybe 10 minutes, if that. But since I'm recording for y'all, I'm showing you how to do it really quick. It's gonna take a little bit longer for me, but hopefully much shorter, just more, blah, 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 can't talk. Much shorter amount of time for y'all. So anyway, uh, to take the starter off, uh, what you're gonna do, what I find easy is, um, take the oil cooler itself you take these bolts off which are 10 millimeter uh, you got one here and then one on the other side you take that and you'll kind of lower it down so you can actually access oh, excuse me <laughs> okay sorry all right i'm back um it'll give you a straight shot into the actual connection here that goes to i want to say the battery if i'm not mistaken um, yeah, that's that's your positive uh, for the starter, um, and that's going to be 10 millimeter. And the only thing that's going to be an 8 millimeter are going to be the the two bolts that hold it to the actual case itself, to the engine. It, that's it. That's all that holds it in. But what actually holds it into the bike is uh, I'll show you. It's got a, an O-ring that actually slides. It, it slides into a hole which is right by the, the the flywheel and it just it slides you can't screw it up okay and if you screw it up you don't need to be working on motorcycles but it's super easy so and I'll show you um, optional if you want to use the 10, 10 millimeter 10 millimeter wrench but I'm going to use a ratchet for this one uh, since it's easier for me it's faster you use one extension which would be the short extension a 10 millimeter socket and this is like the golden boy right here. Everybody, I'm always reaching for them and they're missing and you use these everywhere. And then you have the eight millimeter socket. So this is all you're gonna need right here uh, to actually perform this job. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to take off this oil cooler. We're gonna break these bolts off, which is a 10 millimeter. So let's take that, go in the right direction. I'm going to do this entire video in real time, so it pretty much shows you how fast you can swap out one of these starters. Um, again, before you take uh, anything off, besides the bolt I just took off, um, you want to make sure that you disconnect the battery um, so you can actually access this positive terminal on the top of the starter. You don't want to damage any electricals or anything. So make sure you take care of that. Alright, 
Now this is able to, it's not gonna move very much, but it's gonna move a little so you can actually access using your extension. This is where the extension comes into play. Um, through the back side of the, uh, or over the top of the oil cooler. And it allows you direct access to that positive terminal on the top of the starter. So before you do that, this uh, the rubber grommet that covers that post. Peel it back a little bit, slide it up so that it exposes that terminal. And now you're going to use your again 10 min, your 10 millimeter. And you're going to break that loose. pull tab right here or you can bend it it's what holds your your hoses and some of these wires in place so they don't you know, bounce around and whatnot just take those and kind of pull them off to the side and now you can fully access the, uh, the starter so now we're done with the 10 millimeter the golden boy socket the one thing everybody wants and nobody can ever find going to the 8 millimeter I'm going to take off these two eight millimeter bolts. That's the only thing that's holding this starter onto the engine. Itself, you can put your thumb in between this bracket and the post, and you're going to basically going to grab it and pull it straight out. It, it should pop right out. Straight out. Easy as that. Don't go crazy on it. But the only thing that was holding it in is this uh, rubber O ring. That's it. That's the only thing holding it in, holding it into the engine block. So, I'm set that to the side. And switch over to the new one. Now, before you do anything, I'll, I'll insert some pictures right here, the ones that um, I'm gonna take of the inside, so you can actually see the, the teeth of the flywheel and the oil that's in there. All right, now on this new starter, they've got a really good O-ring. And it's fairly, I put a little bit of oil on the inside, on the, on the teeth. I'm gonna take the, the nuts off, my V nut off of the post. This one comes with a washer, which is convenient. I will be using that. And when you push, when you put this in, I'm try, try to get it in as straight as you can. But you'll feel when it goes in. I usually take my thumb, put it on the back of the starter, and I push straight in, and you should hear it click. Just like that. And now it's in. And then you just reverse what you just did. Eight millimeter. Always start it off finger tight first, so you don't risk uh, cross-threading any bolts. Because if you cross thread, if you cross thread it, that's gonna suck. Alright, what's the next one? Alright. 
Now when you put this bottom bolt back in, try to keep this tab straight out so that the way you had it before, so that it has a chance to, to grab the hoses and the, the hose and the wire. Now this is an aluminum case, all right? So when you go to tighten it back up, don't crank way out here on the end of the wrench because you can actually over torque it and possibly strip it out. You don't want to do that. I use, uh, I grab the, the end of the, the head of the uh, ratchet and I use my wrist just to twist. And just a little bit of torque and that's it. You don't need to get crazy on it, because remember, it's aluminum and you can strip it, and that will suck. Make sure you put the hose back up where it came from. When it stops, give a little extra torque and, and be easy with it. You don't need to get crazy. All right, we are done with the eight millimeter. <clears throat> and it is time to switch to the 10 millimeter. Now take your battery post and put it on top of the starter. Then take the washer and put that over it. Like so. And put the nut on top and run that up. Put this down a little bit so you can access it. And just put a little bit of torque on it. Now put your finger behind the actual wire itself because whenever you go to torque it, it's going to want to turn that wire around and twist it around that post. You don't want to do that. You want to try to keep that wire this. Uh, the ignition wire as straight as possible. So, give it some torque and try to keep pulling on it so it doesn't wrap all the way around. Alright, so like that. Take the rubber boot, slide it back down the wire. You need your best judgment to get it back on there, but make sure it's a good cover. Back to normal. And now we're going to put the bolts back in the bracket for the oil cooler. And then you're done. This entire job should take you probably no more than five to ten minutes. Um, it's probably a little bit longer now because I'm recording all of this. But I can usually change these things out really quick. Same with autom uh, automotive I and mean cars. I love working on trucks because the starter's like right there. Whereas cars, it's all buried inside the engine. And just like that, it's all done. Um, it's easy work. Just remember, don't over, over crank uh, the eight millimeter bolts. Um, you don't need to get crazy on any of them. Take your time with it. You really can't screw it up. Um, and if you find a way to screw it up, you really don't need to be working on motorcycles. So, anyway, um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. 
Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, throw stuff my way, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.